Yeah, very big welcome to you, my dear Capricorn. So today you get the sun in Cancer giving the light to the full moon in your sign. These two opposite energies, right? We have Cancer here, the chariot through Alistair Crawley. And we have you here, this beautiful woman that is seducing us to climb the status and to use anything to get there. And of course, Cancer is teaching you to become more gentle, more sensitive. And so you can see that you are in the peak of love, of giving, of showing yourself, of giving whatever it is that you have. And now we will go slowly again towards the new moon. And so the reading today is that cycle that goes from today's full moon, highlighted by Cancer, back to the new moon, which then sun and new moon is both in your sign again, then you are alone, right? Here you are with yourself in your seat. You don't have any opposition. Here you have that challenge of the full light to your darkness. And you see how she has that cover in front of her eyes because she has to use her two eyes to get to the third eye. And the third eye is here on this vase where the rose is coming out and the snake is coming over here into the left, right? And so today the reading is going to be left spinning. It's a soul path. It's a soul reading back to the new moon. And Cancer, ruled by moon in sun, is in an oxymoron. And it's going to challenge him a little bit. He's the fourth house of friends and family. And of course, the yoga position is Ashwa Sanchalan Asana, high lounge, the horse itself. And you are ruled by Saturn, the teacher, and you are the 10th house of social status. You're not climbing up anymore. You're dancing up into the third eye, into the social status of the sixth chakra, right? Because your card is number 15. And with the 15, we have, of course, the five elements that you see always within. And you come to the sixth, the third eye. So this is going to be the story today. It's going to be very interesting how it's going to unfold. We see now, of course, the last reading where you had Gemini Sun giving Capricorn Moon the light. And the message was next month, your full moon will be bringing you the union of opposites. And you have Cancer giving you the direction to go here into the hermit, into that union. And through that union, you can go and walk up the stairs. And you see, this is to the right. Now we're going to the left because left is soul, right is human. And the funny thing is, is always that people are like, okay, why is there a card with the person looking to the left and they think it's the past, but it's actually the soul. And when they look to the right, it's the human uh, expanding to the outer world. And otherwise we go into the inner world. Now you are the queen of uh, pentacles. If your birthday is between December 12th and January 8th, this is your court card. If not, look in the description below. I have listed all the cards that I'm using today. And of course, all the court cards that are listed with their dates. So here you are. Beautiful, um, loyal and wise and actually very much um, radiant, giving and being this really special lady that is very fertile, right? You are water and earth. The water comes because you are queen. The earth is your element. Good. So we begin the reading. 
and I have to always be very careful because usually I read to the right and now I have to read to the left and sometimes I <laughs> make a mistake, right? So, on the position of the fool comes you, the queen of pentacles. Look at that. So you are in this deck, Visconti Sforza Toro, sitting to the left, sitting into the soul cycle and you're literally thinking, okay, so what else? do I want from this life today on my full moon where cancer is challenging me to look at love to look at not just at the money but how money grows through water through love through dedication through the sameness again and again and even though sometimes I feel like I want to give up I don't give up because if I give up that's the death and that's the jump the soul does into the physical right and so here you are coming up just you the 10th house of social status rich and full and fulfilled in your purpose on the position of the magician comes the magic comes the number 33 the age jesus christ died on the cross and so here we see a child that it looks like magic. And the 33 is a portal, two times three, creativity in being powerful. And you know that you're powerful, but now are you powerful in your magic? And I guess you are because the magician holds your third eye between his two palms or between the wand and the wand that you're holding on your right hand and the left palm, which is the healing hand, where the third eye resides in between. So in a way, the 33 and the 1 would create then a 7 if I calculate it together, right? But I don't do a calculation of a portal. The 33 stays a 33, so it's a 33 and a 1 becomes a 34. And a 34 I can calculate together, which is a 7. And the 7, of course, is then the chariot, the success. When you incorporate the magic in your life, you become very successful you become like a child you become innocent and you are looking at that and you're like okay i like that this is what i want yes for this i will take that jump because my soul wants to experience this then on the position of the high priestess comes the Six of Wands, a success that brings Jupiter in Leo in the month of August, right? When the sun is in Leo, you will see there is your intuition that is letting you know you will be able to hold that power, hold that magic. And the 33 in a way would be a six, right? So here the six is always that self-love that is deep within you. And you want to be that self-love, right? You want to be, from the last reading, Gemini Sun, that's the number six, the lovers. So you know your intuition is guiding you and leading you, and you just have to really trust it and really know that that's what the soul wants, that you trust that, because that's why the soul is here. So the two and the six becomes an eight, and the eight is, again, the infinite potential to create and to be. On then the position of the Empress comes the lovers. Les Amoureux, these are French cards. And so it's clear, right, from the last reading, next month your full moon will be bringing you the union of opposites, the union of opposites, the crossing of your arms. You will give birth because the three is that potential of a new generation, right? The three is the new one. And Gemini did tell you that of the union of opposites you will create now here with the three and the six and nine a completion a union a tantric union deep within yourself like the hermit and you are finding that only deep within you in the moment that now you recognizing that cancer is your opposite cancer is a loving caring personality 
and that you want to embody that, that you want to give birth to that, that the sun is highlighting the full moon right now. And so the full moon, which usually is dark, has now the light of the Cancer. And so here you give birth to a deep, deep self-love that no one can take away from you and no one can give it to you. We, of course, have here a 6-6. Six, six. And of course, if I calculate this together, it would be 3 times 6, but I don't. Then comes on the position of Cancer. The chariot comes the 10 of Pentacles, a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles is then Mercury in Virgo, and Virgo, you had the nine here in bringing the three and the six together. You had that completion, and now you have Virgo here, Mercury in Virgo, bringing you the financial success in the seven through that union that you create when you are putting your dark side aside and adding more light and you see how each of these coins is in the light is like a sun is like that growth and it's the tree of life here and here you are with the 10 and the 7 in the 17 and the left spinning path that i'm doing right now is connected with the spin the earth does to the left and that spin is not a spin it's a wobble of 25,800 years and in 25,800 years, we divide that through the 12 zodiac signs and we get an age of 2,150 years. And we go from the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius. And here it is. So the age of Aquarius is going to bring you success. The age of Aquarius is going to say, well, if you incorporate love, the Holy Grail, here, Alistair Crawley, Abracadabra, the magic, that which you create because you are uniting the black and the white, the male and the female, then you're going to be very successful. On the position then of Leo in the next month, strength, you then get wings because here are all three air signs. We have Gemini, we have Libra and we have Aquarius and that is going to give you the strength to fly high. And to know that one thought, one idea can make a huge difference. And so here, the uniting forces of that innocence and that wildness, which we know uh, here with the magic, this childlike personality, is now you understanding how it all functions, how it all works, because Jupiter in Leo has brought you the power to know that, well, as long as I use my intuition, as long as I am there for the growth cycle of all beings, then I will be guided through that strength, through Leo, that gives me the power to fly high. On the position of Virgo, which you had, right, in a way, through the lovers and the empress, you have Salvador Dali and here comes the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is that moment where you're learning, where you continue, because now Mercury is in Aquarius. You had here in the 10 Mercury in Virgo. And so now you recognize that everything that you learned and now have deep within you you want to continue to learn because the 9 and the 6 creates a 15, which is your number. So you want to learn more. And you see the uh, 6 swords and you see how you're going from one place to the next. And you see all these butterflies and the wings that you got through the month of August, that strength the sun gives us, is now being rooted deep within you and you know that you are arriving in that hermit state, in that deep knowing from deep within, I'm feeling good, I am here, I have arrived. Then on the position of the Wheel of Fortune, 
comes here the number 47, my dear friend. And you can see how she is becoming one with this animal. And the horns is what connects you to, of course, the third eye, the hair. Long hair, hair that's not colored is very important. And you becoming friends here with this deer. The four is the responsibility over the success of the seven. And the ten, of course, Jupiter here, the planet of expansion. If you do things with the idea that you do it for your friends and not for a business sake, then you get the eleven with the ten that creates then three times the one. I don't calculate that together, right? The ten is that new cycle that you're going in. And you are facing the Six of Swords. You are facing the understanding that then with your friends you're living the outer world. You're living that world of the humanness. And so here you are called to really always be united with that which also challenges you. Because friends sometimes put you in the mirror in front and all what you have studied will be tested, right? And then comes on the position of justice, Libra, right? The month of Libra, you get here the princess of wands. These are all three fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So there you get a challenge because those are very active, very um, strong personalities. They act Right? They don't think, they don't uh, wait in before they do anything. And so the discernment of the Libra positioning here to these young generations that have all this inspiration, all this fire, is bringing you then a clarity of how you want to handle it by having this one clear thought and knowing that the scales are in its center. Right? That you know how to handle these kind of action-oriented people. And so here you are um, knowing how to handle them, right? Then comes on the position of the hanged man here, this beautiful crystal, the Mukait Yaspis, the number 36. And so the hanged man is the number 12, which is all 12 zodiac signs can come to to this state of consciousness by hanging upside down on the tree of knowledge. And in the upside down hanging moment, you getting the clarity of you wanting to be more adventurous, you wanting to take a risk by putting yourself upside down. And the number here is the 36, which creates a nine, right? And there is a three here as well with the 12, the one, the magic, and the two, the um, intuitive side or the high priestess that brought you the Lord of Victory, the Six of Wands. So, and here you have these three active, right, want people that give you maybe an inspiration to say, well, maybe I do still want to have an adventure lived, right, by the giving birth in these three stones to the six, which is then the hexagram, which is then always that self-love. I love myself, and so mm -hmm. I'm going after it. So if I calculate the three and the six together, it's a nine. And then here, of course, the 12 uh, with it adds to it is a 12. The 12 then becomes a three. So the three is left. The three crystals make a wish, right? <laughs> then on the position of Scorpio, death, comes the four of pentacles. And that's, of course, the sun in Capricorn. But you have the moon in Capricorn. But you are going towards the path, going back to the new moon, where you have sun and new moon in your sign. And that's giving you then the power to really be strong, right? Because you have here already these 10 pentacles. Now you have another four. 
and that creates altogether 14 pentagrams. And the 14 is temperance, is Sagittarius, is be vigilant with the uh, risks that you take. Nevertheless, take them because that's how you learn. And here you see this beautiful stability triangle with a triangle pointing down and a triangle pointing up, right? And the two directions of the four exchange as that responsibility that you're taking also over this amount of money. And then, of course, you still have here a coin. So altogether, you have 15 coin, which is your number, the six. Then left, the love, the self-love that you know how to handle this amount of money. And so the 13 becomes a four. You have a four, four portal here. Know that every transformation brings a new basic understanding of the material world, of the responsibility that we have to take. Every adventure needs also a little bit of responsibility. Two times four, feel the creativity in the heart space as well, or the responsibility of your heart space. And you are listening, listening closely to the signs that are speaking to you. On the position of temperance comes here now again the child of the wands and so you have them twice the princess of wands is again here the three fire signs and here you get the three fire signs again and you see how in this deck she is looking at the four and she's like, yes, I can do that. I can take action because the 14 in the temperance is the Sagittarian energy, the month of Sagittarius. You know how to take action. You know how to make things happen. You are a channel for the light because you know when you are a channel for the light, you can make things happen and particularly here with the one and the four, the magic in the four elements, then calculated together the five. And the five is the five senses that you bring by really understanding that the five senses are tests always, and that this test is including the guardian angel already that is always protecting you. Then comes on the position of the devil here comes the two of cups and the two of cups is then a love that says well venus in cancer which is giving you the light right so cancer is 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 bringing something out of you is connecting venus to you and you are recognizing now that the two eyes when you bring them together and there's only one rose and one eye that these two are holding one plant as well and they have one two three four leaves above them and they have the four leaves or the four stones here that give them the base the foundation that strength to know that in certain combinations the four here as well right with the seven then creates an 11 it's a portal that you know that self-love a deeper love then a real love can come when you love yourself which is the six right because you are constantly challenged to use the magic over the five senses and you are using the magic over the five senses right and in that you get the six and the six is that self-love that brings a true friend, a true love to you. So maybe you are meeting someone today, right? And are going to enjoy this day because you took action to be a channel for the light. Then on the position of the moon comes here this dream oracle the number 40, the mindful, the group thing, that moment where now the full moon is giving you the chance to be fully enlightened through the love of cancer. And you can give 
your four stones, right, that are here through Scorpio, through the transformation, through the new beginnings, back to the people, because that's then the sun in Capricorn in the time when sun and new moon are in your sign again. And so Pisces, also deep love, the age of Pisces is bringing you here that you have everything that you need. You don't need to worry. Everything is just perfect. Bring the group in because you have the nine, the hermit here opposite, right? Which we had on the position of the hermit, we had those six swords, right? Remember the six swords with the hermit created the 15, created your number, the six. And so know also that on the position of the empress, we have the number nine calculated together with the lovers, right? That self-love when you bring that in, because the 18 is then a nine and the nine and the four creates the 13 and 13 we have then again the four left so here you are faced with responsibilities taking responsibilities over the way you learn over the way you evolve over the way you know that the channel that came up on the position of temperance which is then the five is here because you have a five here with the 10 and the four, right? You have the 14. Know that no matter how much money you have, you want to be a channel of light because she is looking directly at these four stones. And she's like, well, no matter what, I know I want to take care of earth. I want to love earth. And then you will get the people that will manifest with you because on the position of the sun, you get then here again this child that is sitting here in this magnetic attraction. The number 37 creates a 10, the 19 creates a 10, you have a 20, you have a 2, you have through the high priest is the six, the success, you have everything you need, you have then the power to create the magic which you got on the position of the magician, right? And here you have already thought about all these things when you were a child, you were already connected with the magic and now you are really living it because you are noticing what really deep down it means. It means to bring into union the Cancer and the Capricorn, the opposite, the masculine with the feminine, the uniting energy, the forces, right, or the Kundalini that is wrapped around you, right, through the snake and it's going from the base of the spine up to the third eye, right? You see how her tail begins down here, her sexuality goes up like through the chakras and goes over and it's at the height of the third eye. And that's what it is, right? It's that union, it's that I unite the base with the top and it's always inhale and exhale. And so here you are in the duality, the two is left here with this two cards and you understand. You really understand what is here talking to you because then on the position of the last judgment comes here the Lifruma healing oracle, the number 53. And the 53 is then, of course, five to five senses, and three, of course, the Empress, and together the eight, right? The strength that you got through. Leo and through the six of wands and through knowing that I can get through anything because the 20 comes then and makes a 10 and the 10 is a new cycle. On the 10 came the 11, the wheel of fortune came the 11, the next step, right? The portals 
uh, portals like 33 and portals like the 11, etc. The 44 portal, the 55 portal, doesn't matter. Understand that then you are challenged when there is two times the same number, right? That you learning to be always connected. Now, I'm going to put this card here. You can stop the video and can read it yourself. But I'm going to read it to you. And the heartache here is saying, the throb, sobbing, throbbing, dark sparks grab hold of the heart, crushing the soul's freedom. Dread threads reach out with serpentine hooked fangs that sink and pierce deep. Why? cries the choking soul, but the deep dark hole opens wider and anger tangles itself around, cuffing harsh lines into the flesh, victimizing us. It clings and wrings out each drop of love from every thought. So, of course, understand that you are challenged because this is the darkest month this is the month where a lot of people are like oh the capricorn oh the devil and for me of course that's why you're the dancer right you you have given of course always a little bit that that side uh, no one wants and you are the only one that can handle it right and so take that challenge on take that powerful um responsibility on because, hey, maybe in your next life you're going to be a completely different zodiac sign. And then uh, if you have incorporated that dark side of yours, which exists, which exists in all of us, right? I have a dark side too. My opposite side, because I'm a hermit, is Pisces. So uh, the age of Pisces right now was for me like, well, I was in the dark for 2,150 years, right? <laughs> I mean... That's it. I have to wait another 12,000 whatever years to be fully in the light. And it's okay, right? It's really okay. I'm learning by doing and I'm learning that not everything is always up because the down supports the up. And so here you are recognizing that. And then comes on the position of the world, the seven of wands. And you had six wands, right? I'm going to put it here. You had six ones and seven ones makes 13 ones exactly on the position of Scorpio came the four. So sometimes the four again and again, taking that responsibility of the financial situation. And so here the world wants you to open and show who you truly are. Cut through all of that difficulty. We go from eight to seven. And learning again that the seven and the three creates a ten. Because the 21, the world is saying, well, have a look at all of it and see that you are coming at a closure because this is Mars in Leo. And so the next month is already speaking to you. You're going to be a fighter. You're going to be like, I can do this. I can go out there because it's 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 through these difficulties or these friendships that we learn it's through the seven right it's that okay again love oh well no it's wow it's again love that is making me open myself up right and it's like i have arrived in a way you are in the dark you are back in the seat of the new moon right because that's the path to the new moon and here you are opening yourself again to then next year full moon and you know by knowing this now that you can endure these difficult moments the darkness the moment where you're deep down in the in the dark month again in your new moon sun and new moon both in your sign and so here you get the strength of leo coming and helping you and so that's why you can continue the path of the soul because you have opened yourself up again and again in these cycles here in this dimension. And so here you are seeing that difficulties are good, right? Because difficulties here with the uh, last judgment creates a 10. And you know that you are strong enough 
to open any dark spot and bring the light in there so that you can continue your path forward, right, into this world, into the magic, into being whatever you want to be, right? And again, the cycle continues, right? So you're going from the full moon to the new moon and from the new moon to the full moon and that's it. So this is your message for your full moon today. And I hope I see you in the next reading because Leo is here, right? Leo has spoken and given you the wings, the wings here, the arms to open and to show that seventh star, to show the light, the holy grail that is now here, reachable, right? Because the sun is giving you the light. And so I wish you a beautiful full moon celebration. And thank you very much for being with me. Namaste.